right, so I'm going to be going through this code wars problem today. Um, remove words from the sentence that contain exactly one exclamation point, exclamation mark. Words are separated by a single space without leading or trailing spaces. So they give us some examples here. Um, I kind of want to do one of the more challenging ones. I'm going to do this one. I actually want to want to do that one because it has two exclamation points, but we're going to do this one. So our variable is s, so we'll call this s. Um, so I'm going to do this with two ways. I'm going to do it with a for loop, and then I'm going to do it with a list comprehension. So first way with a for loop, so for um, word in s dot split on the space. Just take a look at what we have here, and then um i think it's dot count exclamation point so we see this will get us how many times it shows up so if word dot count does not equal or what was it if they contain exactly one exclamation point so if it does not equal one um i don't know why i still have my print statement in here if does not equal one. I'm going to add these to a list. So call this output list. And output list dot append word. And then let's just take a look at what output list is. So I think that is right. Cool. And then finally, we just need to join it. Actually, I think I want a space in there. So cool. Let's try it with. No, let's do it this one. Oops. So cool. So I think this would work, and I'm just going to test it out. And then return this. And that passes everything and that works. And then the other way to do this is with a list comprehension. So I like to do my list comprehensions the same way I do for loops. So for word in s dot split of this. Um, and then since I have an if statement, it'll go after the list comprehension. So if uh, word dot count. So the exclamation points does not equal five, one. Then I want to return word that returns that. And then I can just do this um, dot join. So the, these two things are doing the same thing. Um, they should be about the same amount of time wise. I understand this correctly. I don't always understand timing correctly. So this took 866 nanoseconds. This took 951 nanoseconds. So um, roughly about the same amount of time. And let me just see if this works as well. Return that, test it out, cool. So that's two ways to do this problem. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.